When I accepted the opportunity to lead the UHNO athletic department, I was well aware of coming in of the then pending NCA case. From day one on the job, our department's shared goal has been and continues to be to build a program that Hawaii can be proud of going forward. The NCAA decision describes a men's basketball program and compliance regime that no longer exists today. We've identified communication issues and compliance needs and addressed them squarely, not just with words, but with actions and resources to back them up. We are now properly empowering and supporting our compliance and support staff. Some examples, UH Athletics has added a compliance staff position that focuses on rules education. UH Athletics has increased the compliance team's attendance at practice. UH Athletics has increased booster education, including running ads in the newspaper and mailing an educational flyout with season ticket holders. Also, we have increased student athlete, athlete awareness and education with meetings regarding the NCA compliance rules at the start and the end of each year. And of course, we have, hired, we have a new head coach. Under the leadership of Aran Ganat, there is no question about the excellent communication between coaching staff, students, and the compliance team. The student and the coaches understand fully the impact of non-compliance. We have learned from this experience and we will continue to identify ways in which we can improve. <coughs> While we are disappointed with the postseason ban and the impact on current student athletes and our great fans, we accept the penalties and continue to move forward with Aran Ganat at the helm. He is the man for the job and he typ typifies our winning with integrity mantra. It is time to move onward and personally I am looking forward to a bright future with Coach Ganat and the other fantastic coaches and staff we have that work hard with our student athletes every day to win with integrity and to perform on the court and in the classroom to the best of their abilities. Accepting, like you said, the penalties, that mean you will not appeal? Well, the attorneys are reviewing the decision further, but at the present time, we are not planning to appeal and plan to accept the current penalties, but we're still appealing, reviewing. You weren't here when the violation occurred. You're left in a position to pick up the pieces and put the puzzle back together. That's a tough task, isn't it? Well, it's, it's a challenge. I mean, there's a lot of challenging things about this job. Uh, I, I think um, we started, I mean, from the moment I got here, we, we've been putting the pieces back together. We've, we've Look at the coaches we're hiring. We're hiring for integrity, for character, for people to get the job done, whether it be Aran Ganat, um, Nick Rolovich. Um, the, the, you know, it, business is about people. So. Um, I, I'm, I'm very confident in the staff we've assembled and the staff we're continuing to motivate and to develop. In your opinion, sanctions by the NCAA today too severe? I'm, I'm disappointed with the postseason ban. What do you think the biggest impact of these sanctions moving forward will be for the program? Well, y you know, that's a good question. Um, I, I just continue to think about how we're getting better. Because I know the beauty of this is these are opportunities to get better. We're already getting better. You can see it. You can see it, I mean, with, with, with Coach Gannat. So I think the real thing is we're going we're gonna to get to another level because of this. But, you know, in the short term, it's a challenge. I mean, there will be negative things against us there, but we're, we're going to continue to focus on where we're headed, not where we've been. Are there any more vacated wings in the 36 you didn't let um, not that I'm aware of. Yeah. No. Uh, players who can transfer next year, do, do they need to release like a, a normal transfer or can they transfer in conference? The NCAA left a, a lot of questions on the table because they only answered one in their conference today. Yeah, I, I noticed that. I was on. Yeah. Um, my understanding is that they can, they, they can transfer without a release, but I'd have to check on that. But I believe that when there's a postseason ban that that, that transfer is available. We, 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 there's nothing, it's just an option that they have. Dave, what do you think the legal advice you guys got leading up to this point? Did they prepare you for this? Did they leave any possibility that this might be the outcome? Yeah, I mean, you, you, you always know. I mean, no one knows for sure what's going to happen. I, I think our, our legal team did a good job. I mean, I think, you know, I think, you know, the, 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 the problem is what, what, what we did. I mean, we have to own some of our mistakes. And we have to, um, you know, improve and move forward on um, the problem that they brought up with Amanda and Gibbs' relationship, uh, can you comment on that at all? I know you recently promoted Amanda. She's yeah. been around here for a long time doing good work. Um, what, was, what was the issue they seemed to have with her? Well, I've spoke to many of our, our coaches about Amanda and, and her relationship with coaches, and I've worked with Amanda, not just in this job, but the uh, situation between Gibb and Amanda uh, that Gibbs talking about was an anomaly. It's tough enough in Division One. 
basketball coach. How much tougher did your job just get moving forward? You know, they're, they're, it's tough, but we're going to continue to move forward. Like I said, from day one, I mean, we came in knowing there were going to be some challenges ahead. There's some uncertainty. Obviously, we got some clarity today and some, like uh, Dave said, some disappointing news. But it is what it is. We're not going to pout about it. We're going to tackle these things head on and move forward. Have you put together a spiel in your head about recruiting forward when there is a postseason then? Well, it's not so. I'm not a spiel guy. I'm not. I'm a direct guy. The way I am with their players and families on the front end and recruiting is the way I am. When hopefully we get to coach those guys, it's going to be about being very forthcoming and truthful. So from day one, we were honest and forthcoming about the uncertainty. And obviously, we just kind of came in pretty quick yesterday with the find, the news and obviously finding out today. But we were even uh, forthcoming about that with the recruits, their families. Hey, there's going to be an announcement. Here's when the announcement comes. Here's the facts. Same thing with our guys, with their coaches, and we're going to continue to do that. Our number one deal about in recruiting is about being truthful and forthcoming. We'll continue to do that. I imagine if you saw on Twitter today, Aaron Valdez says, "You know, it, it's, we got a tournament to play, an NCAA tournament to make. You're either with us or against us. You gotta love that." And as first I heard, obviously we've been running around doing a lot of things today. It's a unique day. There's a lot going on, but. Uh, you know, this group, I'm proud of what they have to deal through this year. They've been resilient. They were resilient last year, and I hope, you know, I anticipate that boating well for us moving forward. There's a lot of different angles that can pose problems for you guys moving forward. What do you look at as views the, the toughest problem facing these sanctions? You know, I, you know, they're just stabilizing the foundation, obviously, and that's one of the things that, you know, the clarity is good. Obviously, it's not what we wanted, but at least there's a finality to it, and now we can move forward and, uh, you know, continue to be, you know, uncertainty is tough, too. So you and we were trying to be upfront with our guys, everybody involved with our program, or potentially in terms of, you know, un unfortunately as much as you can with uncertainty. Now there's clarity; it's not what we wanted, but uh, we can take steps. We can stabilize the foundation. You can't build unless you stabilize, and, and this continues to give us an opportunity to do so. As far as roster building, it's going to be razor thin to, to have any kind of margin there. Being through this before at St. Mary's, do you think that helps you um, in having to deal with all this stuff? Well, I've said this, uh, you know. We don't run from challenges. We, we embrace them and, and we tackle them head on. Obviously, there's some experience there for us. You know, the big thing for us was, like you said, maybe a margin for error. But it, you, you have to be a little sharper on the front end recruiting. Like I said, there's there's challenges, but there's always a way we're going to find that way. You didn't want this job to be easy, did you? I didn't want anything to be easy. That's <laughs> what, you know, obviously, there's challenges, and that's what makes it worthwhile. Um, that's why you do this as a competitor. Uh, there's always going to be challenges. There's been challenges already, and they're going to continue to be some. But the reality is, and I'm, as you know, guys who've gotten to know me and our staff and what our program is going to be about is about being very upfront and honest and not running away from things and, and embracing challenges, as tough as they may be sometimes. But uh, that gives you a chance and an opportunity to succeed. You have, you have such a strong junior class. What do you tell the kids, knowing that you know next year if they wanted to, they could leave to any school they wanted without restrictions? What do you tell them to keep them here and have them build something here? Well, remind them what we're trying to do, and that's about suffocating our program with good people. Number one, good people. Number two, good talents. Number three, people who understand and appreciate what it means to be in this great state, representing this great university, and playing for this great program. And uh, in terms of knowing what their situation can be, absolutely, we're going to be very honest with them. That's what I told them. We are in charge of taking care of these kids. And we're in charge, number one, of, of leadership and uh, doing what's best for the student athlete welfare. We continue to do that. Have you given any thoughts of pushing for an appeal, or are you just looking forward to getting past it at this point? Obviously, we're looking forward to move forward. I, I think it's truly to tell. We're going to talk to the guys, you know, the leadership above me, and uh, make sure we're can, going to be united and uh, continue to stay on the same page. Cool. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.